Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Um, yesterday was my surgery, I'm back. I'm back to the place that I absolutely love. Outfit of the day is a purple dress. I'll probably show you here in a minute. It's the most beautiful temperature today. It's like in the 80s. Um, my kids were out here early. If you earlier, if you follow my Snapchat, you'll have seen them. They were having, they were out in the pool swimming and having a great time. So yeah, I'm back. The only problems I had during the surgery, before the surgery, was um, I was told not to eat. So I wanted to do this as a warning video. So if this ever happens to you, you know I like to educate on here too, not just be silly and dumb, but I also like to do a few educational things as well. Um, is they told me not to eat from 12 on, you know, from 12 o'clock at night until surgery. And so I ate dinner that night and then I stopped eating, but my, but my surgery wasn't scheduled until 2.15 in the afternoon. So I was a good girl and I didn't drink any water. I didn't have any coffee. Um, I really didn't, I didn't eat any food. My sister was over being, staying with me for the week and, and being a chef and she made um, homemade French dips in the crock pot to make them tender and she made uh, if you followed my snapchat you'll see that as well and if you don't you're not on my snapchat please come because I have a lot of fun over there I post stories every day and it's curvy girl on snapchat um, so anyway so she um, she made all these delicious pasta salads and everything so that when the surgery was over we could come home and eat. Let me get this pillow so I can prop my hand. I'm still using my cell phone. I hope you don't mind till I get my camera figured out. Um, so anyway, she was uh, making pasta salads and um, what was I saying? Oh, French dips. So that when we got home from surgery, because I didn't have to stay the night, it was just a, a surgery to stop my period. So. Keep your fingers crossed and, and say some prayers that I'll no longer ever have a period. I'm done having kids. I just want to have fun with my life and not bleed to death. That's all I want and stay healthy and have fun with you guys and make great videos and bring content to you and have fun on Connect Pal and all of that. So um, I didn't eat anything, didn't drink anything. I got there at 2.15 with my sister. They said the electricity had went out and that I wouldn't be able to go back there for another hour. Meanwhile, nothing to drink, no food. I was doing fine. Um, I got back there and they could not um, get a vein that was working because I was so dehydrated. So literally, I want you to see. Can you see? I've got bruises all up and down my arm. Can you see, can you see? I hope you can see. And then right here, so I got my hand they got the top of my hand bruised, all on my arm bruised, and then that, that wasn't enough. They went for my leg and the top of my toe. Oh, I gotta move this back. And the top of my toe. And at this point, whoa, sorry guys, at this point I was... I am scared of needles anyway, and uh, I'm a pretty brave person, but at this point I was crying and I was like, okay, just cancel the surgery, cancel the surgery. I don't want to go through this. I just, you know, because they were poking my feet, poking my arms, poking my arms. I felt like one giant pin cushion, you know, and I was hoping my sister was up by my head and I was, I was saying, just talk, 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 um, so that I don't have to... Uh, can't get my arm comfortable. This is the arm, guys. Oh, I should be using this hand, right? No, I can't. So um, I couldn't get my, uh, they couldn't find a vein. They even got, at one point, got an ultrasound machine out and uh, looked on my arm with the ultrasound machine. And finally, finally, they found one in my arm that's all bruised and I got it an hour later. It took them an hour to get a vein uh, that would work because I was so dehydrated. So don't ever, if, it, if you go that long and you have to have a surgery, don't have some water at least. Because if I would have had 
water, I wouldn't have been so dehydrated because I'm used to drinking water all day long. And so if I would have had some water, I would have been fine. Um, so anyway, they had the surgery. They said that uh, my ovary was swollen for some reason. My ovary, oh, my arm, oh, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to be this efficient here. And um, so my ovary was swollen. And so when they went in there to do the cauterizing to make it my period stop or whatever they call it, uh, ablation is what it was called. DNC ablation is what I had. They um, uh, said they only got could get 70% of it because my uterus was so swollen. And so I have been, since the surgery, I've been just like keeping my fingers crossed, saying some prayers um, that this will work and I won't have to have a hysterectomy. And that even if I have light periods, considering what I had before, that's better than than bleeding to death practically so I'm staying positive I feel great uh, I've been running around probably way more t my sister was like calm down I thought you were gonna feel worse than you do and I'm not one that can stay down very long and so I've been up and the kids have had a pool party back here um, I've been taking videos of them snapchatting them and I've already went to sushi. My sister and I went to sushi and had a delicious lunch. Um, and now I took an ibuprofen because my stomach's starting to hurt a little bit. They didn't have to do any cuts on my stomach. Uh, they just went in vaginally. So I have no cuts on my stomach, so that's good news. So now it's just a matter of trying to heal and rest, which is hard for me. But I feel great, I'm staying positive, and all is well. So I just wanted to give you an update and um, as soon as I can, I'll be getting back in that pool um, and, and doing videos for you guys. And yes, I'll be doing um, bikini fashion shows, but just be patient, okay? Because I don't want to rush it. Um, because I feel like if I rush it, then, you know, something could happen. So I'm just trying to pace myself and be careful. Um, but I think you guys have seen this outfit before, but I'll show you anyway. It's this comfortable, um, dress. I have my slippers on, so if you see my slippers, oh well. So it's just a comfortable dress to hang out in in this weather. Uh, it's a little beach dress. And that's it. See my new little pillow, my little fishy pillow. I think this is pretty cute. So, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And... I will see you soon. Bye for now.